Alright, so I know most of y'all already know this stuff. I'm here. I made it. What's going on? World's already been saved, kid. Cool. Cool. But Epic Games has asked the community to provide some tutorials for beginners that they can use when Save the World goes free. So for this one, we're going to take a look at the different classes as well as their strengths. And hopefully we can find the right class for you. There's a total of four different classes. You have soldiers, constructors, ninjas, and outlanders. And first we're going to start off with constructors. All constructors come with a base, which increases the armor of any structure that's attached to your base. The way you access your base is by opening your trap wheel. I was able to do it by going into edit build mode. And then you'll see an option directly above the trap towards the right. On PS4, it's the square button. And depending on where you're looking at, it can either open up this screen. From here, you'll have to select floor trap. And from there, you can select your base. Another way is to aim your crosshairs at a floor piece. And when you press square or the option above the trap, it automatically goes to your floor traps and you can select your base right away. And the base is gonna increase the armor of any piece that's attached to it. And you can tell if it's attached because it'll have like a blue glow to it. For most constructors, it extends up to four tiles and the regular base doesn't increase the health of the pieces, it just increases the armor. So as you can tell, this piece has the same amount of health as this piece, which isn't attached to the base. But whenever enemies attack it, it'll take less damage compared to the piece that's not attached to it. You can make your base increase the health of these pieces by using base Kyle or putting him in your support team. There's also constructors that allow you to deal damage with your base, like Electro Pulse Penny and Thunder Thora. You can increase the size of your base by using Mega Base Kyle, and you can also make it heal yourself as well as your teammates by using Warden Kyle. And there's quite a few other heroes that have perks that can buff your base but I just wanted to point out some of the things that you can do with it. All constructors also have kinetic overload, which helps you do a little bit of extra melee weapon damage whenever you deal enough impact. And when it comes to weapons, constructors are mainly good when it comes to axes, hammers, clubs, and hardware melee weapons. And they're also good when it comes to explosive weapons. So if you prefer using those types of weapons, then you may want to go with constructors. And they have a total of five different abilities. Those include the bull rush, which makes you charge forward three tiles, which is really good for stopping smashers from charging at you. You can also use it to push husk and mini bosses away from your base. And you can also destroy structures and loot llamas with it. They also have the decoy, which distracts any regular enemy caught within its radius. And that only lasts for a few seconds. And they also have plasma pulse, which emits smaller plasma mines for six seconds and each mine deals energy damage. And normally I think most people like to use the decoy with the plasma pulse. Constructors also have the Rosie, which is a mountable turret that comes with 150 shots and it can fire up to seven shots per second. And they also have going constructor, which gives you this little hammer that you can use. And when you use your heavy attack, it's gonna pull out this shield, which reduces damage that you take from the front by 95%. Also, when it comes to abilities, you can reduce the cooldown or increase the damage it deals by placing heroes in your loadout that support those abilities. And the last thing I wanna point out when it comes to constructors is that they do have more health than any other class in Save the World. So if you like those type of melee weapons, these abilities, or if using the base interests you, then you're gonna to wanna to use the constructor class. Next up, we're gonna take a look at the soldiers. Every soldier has the suppressive fire class perk which is whenever you land consecutive shots against the same target, it's gonna help you deal additional damage. And every soldier also has Stay Frosty, which is whenever you get three kills, it's gonna increase the amount of damage you deal with ranged weapons by 10%. It also increases your weapon stability, and that lasts for a total of seven seconds. So every soldier is gonna come with these weapon damage buffs. When it comes to the different type of weapons to use, Soldiers are really good when it comes to dealing damage with shotguns, as well as crit damage with shotguns. They're also good when it comes to dealing damage with snipers, as well as crit damage with snipers. They're really good when it comes to dealing damage with assault rifles and SMGs, as well as crit damage with those weapons. There's a couple of soldiers that are really good with LMGs, or weapons that have large magazines. And there's also one soldier that can increase your pistol damage. 
So if you like using those types of weapons, then you're most likely going to want to use a soldier. They have a total of five abilities, one's called the War Cry, which not only increases your damage, but also increases nearby teammates' damage. Soldiers also have Going Commando, or the Minigun. Some soldiers have the Lithian Righty ability, and here's what Ravens looks like. A lot of soldiers also have the Frag Grenade ability, and every Frag Grenade deals energy damage. And I believe most of them come with a total of three frag grenades. And the last ability that soldiers can have is the shockwave ability, which is one of the best abilities to use when you're surrounded. So those are what soldier abilities look like. And those are the type of weapons you want to use with them. Next up, you have the ninja class. And every ninja comes with the mana sleep, which allows you to double jump. And it also causes you not to take any fall damage, no matter where you fall from. And they also have Shadow Stance, which is whenever you get a kill with the melee weapon, it's going to cause you to turn into this shadow, which lasts for 4 seconds. And whenever you go into Shadow Stance, it's going to increase your armor, as well as your movement speed. When it comes to weapons, they mainly specialize in melee weapons. There's quite a few ninjas that'll buff the damage you deal with any type of melee weapon. There's also quite a few ninjas that buff the damage you deal with swords. There's also ninjas that can buff your scythe damage. And there's ninjas that can buff your spear damage. There's also a couple of ninjas that can increase your movement speed. So they can help you run a little bit faster. And when it comes to their abilities, they have Smoke Bomb, which slows the movement of any husk caught within it. And it also deals damage once every second. They also have Dragon Slash, which is probably the best ninja ability. Really good for crowd control. They also have Throwing Stars. And there's ways you can alter the amount of throwing stars you throw and the way you throw them, depending on which commanders you use and which team perk you use. They also have Crescent Kick, which not only deals damage, but can also stun Husk. And ninjas can also have the Kunai Storm ability, which makes you jump into the air and throw a bunch of kunai at the enemies directly below you. One thing I should point out when it comes to ninjas is that they generally have less health than all of the other classes. But you're not going to be wasting any materials on ammo because you're going to be using melee weapons. And the last class we're going to take a look at are the Outlanders. Every Outlander comes with anti-material charge, which allows you to destroy structures by punching. In order to do it, you're going to have to use the heavy attack with your pickaxe equipped. And the anti-material charge is the best way to farm for materials and resources. And the best anti-material charge heroes are Archaeologists and Fossil Southy. You can use either one. Just make sure you put the other one in your support team. Every Outlander also has In The Zone, which is whenever you get five consecutive hits with your pickaxe, it's going to cause you to go in the zone, which increases your movement speed, your pickaxe damage, so it's going to allow you to destroy stuff a lot quicker, and it also causes nearby containers to glow and help you find loot easier. And when it comes to using the pickaxe, Pathfinder Jess is currently the best hero in Save the World. But again, I definitely would recommend using the anti-material charge more than the pickaxe. And the last class perk that all Outlanders have are Loot Llamas. Whenever you go up to a purple charge fragment and pick it up, it'll drop this Loot Llama that can be destroyed for more materials and resources. And if you really want to destroy it quickly, you can have a soldier use his minigun or a constructor use their bull rush. So those are all of the different class perks that every Outlander will have. When it comes to weapons, there's some that can increase the damage you deal with pistols and SMGs. They can also increase the crit damage you deal with pistols and SMGs. There's one that can increase your overall damage with any weapon, Crossbones Barret. There's another Outlander that can buff your sniper. And Fossil South is another really good hero to use when it comes to weapons that have really good heavy attacks. So those are some of the weapons that you're going to want to use while playing with Outlanders. When it comes to abilities, they have the teddy, which deploys a robot teddy bear that'll help you kill Husk. They also have the shock tower, which shocks nearby enemies and can also stun them. Outlanders can also come with the seismic smash ability, which makes you smash the ground and it'll deal damage to any Husk caught within it. And they also have phase shift, which allows you to teleport and get around the map a lot quicker. So Outlanders are the best when it comes to farming and dealing damage with pistols and SMGs. Ninjas are the best when it comes to melee weapons and mobility. Constructors are the best when it comes to strengthening your base. They also have the most health. And they're also really good when it comes to certain melee weapons as well as explosive weapons. And soldiers are the best when it comes to dealing damage with ranged weapons. And those weapons include shotguns, snipers, LMGs, assault rifles, and SMGs. 
And they also have a pistol soldier as well. So that sums up the four classes that are in Save the World. Also, for those wondering how you get the heroes, you can get them from llamas. You can also get them as rewards from quests and missions. You can also get transform schematics, which you can use to transform into heroes. Sometimes they'll come as quest rewards, like from an event. You can also buy them from the event and weekly store. And you can also recruit a lot of heroes from the collection book. And that sums up everything I wanted to go over in regards to the four different classes in Save the World. I'll leave a link to some other Save the World tip videos in the description if you'd like to go check them out. Hope y'all found this one useful and thanks for watching.